Hey guys, this is Exodus Gear, and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial as to how to set up CG Miner for MineLightCoin.com. Really good site. If you want to set up a pool miner, go ahead and go over to the site and get registered. Uh, for the first timers, again, go over to the site and go ahead and register. Really simple process. After you're done with that, you're going to want to go to the left hand side and hit the Getting Started. It'll take you to this page where you will begin your download for whatever operating system you may have, whether it be Linux, Mac, or Windows. You're going to want to download your wallet. Once it's downloaded, you're going to run it and let it update to the last block found. It'll take a little bit, but it'll get done. After you're done letting it run and set all this up, or while it's actually setting this up, go ahead and go into your account settings, minor configuration, and on here you'll be able to create your workers depending on how many PCs you're running or if you're just running one. We'll go ahead and do an example for this real quick. We'll create a second worker for me. We'll call him X2. And I know what some of you are thinking, oh my god, the username or the worker name and the password. Um, it doesn't really matter. If people want to use your worker name and your password, all they're really doing is actually mining for you. They're not actually doing anything else. The only username and password that you really have to worry about would be the one for the website itself. So don't give that out, don't do anything like that. All right, and as you can tell, we've already got our second worker set up right here. Let's go ahead and go back to the getting started page. And uh, once it's done downloading, it's gonna generate a wallet for you, or a wallet code. Go ahead and uh, actually save that for the time being. You're actually going to use that in your uh, account setting. I'll show you here in a moment. But the next step will be to actually download CG Miner. So go ahead and download CG Miner. I'm using it for Windows. And once it's done downloading, all you have to do is extract it to a new folder. I currently have mine set up on my desktop. Just extract all the files, drop them into one folder. Really simple. Let's go ahead and go back to account configuration. Now the reason we're going back to account configuration is, like I was saying, once your wallet is set up and it's been updated to the last block, you'll be able to pick up your address. And you're going to want to take your address, and you're going to, of course, go to your account details, and you're going to place it right here. And what that's going to do is whenever you're ready for payouts, or if you have an uh, automatic payout set out, it'll send your Litecoins to this address right here. So really simple, copy your address, put it right there, and that's where you'll be paid out. Let's go ahead and go back to the getting started page. All right. Now that we have everything extracted and set up, for those Windows users, uh, the first thing that you're actually gonna wanna do Go ahead and hit Alt, go to Tools, go to Folder Options, go to View, and make sure that the Hide Extensions for Known File Types is unchecked. And there's actually a reason for that. Go ahead and hit OK. And this is actually the reason right here. You're going to want to right click in the folder, go to Create a New Text Document, and I actually already have mine set up. We'll go ahead and open this up. And in your text document, you're going to want to put in cgminer.exe hyphen hyphen script hyphen lowercase o stratum plus tcp separator forward slash forward slash america.mine hyphen litecoin.com. You're going to put another separator right here. And this is going to be the, the, the stratum link. And right after the separator, you're going to want to put port 80. All right. Once you're done putting port 80 in, hit space, another hyphen with a lowercase u, and this is going to be for your username. Let me go back to the site real quick. If we go back to minor configuration, remember the usernames that we created. You're just going to want to use the same username, Exodus Gear. Exodus underscore gear period x1 password x. Oh, 
wrong wrong one there. <laughs> All right. After you're done putting your username in, space hyphen lowercase p space and then you just put in your password which would be x. Then you go in, also put another hyphen, put in an uppercase i and this is actually for the intensity of the graphics card. Now, I'm not going to get too much into the details of changing the specifics on it, and that's only because the current PC that I'm using right now is just kind of my my sit about PC. It doesn't have my mining rig set up, so if I were to actually try and run it, I have an NVIDIA card on here, and it gets a horrible, horrible hash rate. <laughs> but, alright, let's go ahead and, uh, after you're putting in the intensity, we'll go ahead and set my intensity to 13. And like I was saying earlier, the reason that we changed the extension files up here is if you were to go in and save it, it would try and save as a text file, which you don't want it to save as a text file. You're going to want to erase the TXT at the end and put in BAT, bat, just like the little flying creatures. You're going to save it, and what that's basically going to do is it's going to create the little bat file right above your text file. You no longer really need the the text file anymore. You can actually just kind of close it down after it's done saving. And you can delete it. So, just get it out of the way. Doesn't matter. After that done, or that's done set up, sorry about that. You've got your bat set up. All you have to do is double click it. Let me see if I can get this to maybe pump out and accept again. If you uh, if you look at my hash rate right now, it's uh, at five. Oh oh, one up to six. Oh no, back down to four. Like I was saying, really bad hash rate on my Nvidia card. <laughs> but you can go into some of these options, and if you just hit G for your GPU management, you can actually change the intensity at which you're mining. So if you lower it, of course, it'll let you use your computer a little bit more. If you raise it up higher, it'll, of course, use more of the power from the graphics card, and it'll become a little bit harder to actually use your computer. So if you plan on raising the intensity, don't plan on using your computer, okay? <laughs> All right. And for those uh, people that are actually using the AMD graphics card, you will actually have a different option whenever you go to your... Uh, GPU management, you actually have a change settings at the very end. Now the good thing about this is you can actually go into the change settings and you can auto-tune your fan and auto-tune your uh, card. Basically what it does is it'll keep track of the temperature so that if it gets too hot or um, you know it starts trying to burn up, it'll actually decrease and lower it so it, it doesn't burn up. I mean it, it's just that simple. It, Auto tunes, it keeps it safe. So it's a little bit better to use the CG Miner with AMD graphics cards. Now, let's see here. I don't think I have any accepted. No, and I don't think I really will have any accepted for a while. Like I said, I am running this at a, a 4 hash, uh, hash rate, and it, that, that's not going to do anything for me. But as long as you follow these steps, you will have your CG Miner set up. Really simple shouldn't take more than maybe about an hour I want to say and that's including the setup time for your wallet and it updating but uh, that's really about it guys I hope this really helped if you have any kind of problems with setting this up or if you run across any kind of errors be sure to check out the live web chat there is a live web chat on mindlightcoin.com and there generally are people inside um, that are willing to help you as long as you go in there and you know ask them hey you know I'm running across this error it's it's not letting me do a certain thing or whatever else and we'll actually go ahead and try and help you out a little bit we'll try and walk you through it alright guys that's really about it I hope this uh, again like I said I hope this really helped somebody out there um, be sure to sign up for the pool mining be sure to let your friends know if they want to get into pooling as well and enjoy <laughs>